Hi everyone and welcome to the Cozy Escape book nominations for Millennial Cozies. Now if you're not sure what Millennial Cozies are, make sure to head over to my video where I talked all about them, but it's basically where the main character is a millennial. Now there is a difference between I think the younger millennials like in their late 20s and then what they're calling the geriatric millennials which are like Britney Spears because they're like moved on in life, they're married, they have children or they're divorced or on their second or third marriage. So that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about more of like the single carefree kind of character and that's what they really mean by millennial cozy. So let's get into that list. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Lisa, author of the Frosted Misfortunes Cozy Mystery Series, trying my own little kitty cat, Lucky. On this channel, we talk all about mysteries, whether those are books, TV shows, or movies. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday. All right, so let's get into today's list of millennial closies. The first is Reading Between the Crimes by Kate Young. And this is number one in the Jane Doe Book Club uh, mystery. I lied. This is book two in the book, Jane Doe book club series. Now this could have actually also fallen under the holiday cozies because it is a Halloween cozy mystery and they go to the library to discuss book club and of course find a dead body before anybody is able to discuss any books at all. The next book is A Pairing to Die For by Kate Lansing, and this is number two in the Colorado Wine Mystery Series. Now, this is about someone who owns a winery, so she must be extravagantly wealthy, uh, and she happens to be dating a restaurant owner. Now, the restaurant owner's family comes into town, but I guess he doesn't like them, and they are all are fighting, and then his sous chef at his restaurant turns up dead. This one is Scene of a Climb by Kate Dyer Seeley, and this is number one in a Pacific Northwest mystery. Now, this one didn't really make any sense, like the premise. So she is, she wants her job as a magazine writer, so she lies and pretends that she is an adventure enthusiast, and so she has to climb a mountain, which I don't know about you, but that sounds like I might die. So she climbs this mountain, and then she sees a body fall over the side. So that is the mystery she's trying to solve, unless, of course, she ends up dead on the mountain, which was what would totally totally happened to me. Although I probably wouldn't even get up high enough for, to like fall to die because I'd be five feet and I'd be like, this is, I'm done. I'm out of here. <laughs> Next one is Spells and Shells by L. Adams. And this is number one in Library Witch Mysteries. Now the main character works as an assistant at a bookshop, but she hates her job. She hates her boss. And then she finds out that she is actually a witch on her dad's side. And the family has invited her to live in their enchanted magical library. How wonderful is that? Anyway, she ends up finding a dead body hidden inside one of the shelves. So now she has to, one, figure out what to do or how to use her witchy powers and also find the murderer. The last one is Falling Into Magic by Elizabeth Pantley. And this is number one, the Destiny Falls Mystery and Magic series. And Molly picked this and she did the cover. So I thought this was a kid's book, but it says that like this uh, girl loses her cat. It fell into a magical mirror, but then 20 years later, she falls into the magical mirror herself to go look for a cat. So I guess it's not a kid's book. It's a 20 year old. So very young, I guess, young adult, new adult, uh, cozy mystery. So yeah, so this sounds like a fun read. So that is a wrap for Millennial Cozies. Make sure to head over to our Patreon page and vote and we will talk to you tomorrow because we have more cozy mystery categories to cover and then we will see you on September 15th for National Cozy Mystery Day when we will be announcing all of the winners. All right, I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.